Hey guys, Lil Shooty here. Today I'm gonna show you how to do my signature Poison Ivy look. Side note, before I started the video, I put on my foundation, which is the MAC Studio Fix, and then I used the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer for my blush. Honestly, I used this $1 blush that I got at a store. So first off, I'm going to apply my MAC Pure White Chromographic Pencil. And it makes it where it just opens up the eyelid. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'll be using Thrash first and then Freak. You wanna just take a little bit of that and get it right in the corner. This look is all about layering. So then I'm going to use Freak and just go from the middle of the eyelid all the way to the end. And then I like to just take it over a little bit. Then next, I'm gonna go through and use my MAC Cosmetics, but I love it, and I use it for every single green eye that I use. We're just gonna put this right here. It's a whole lot of blending, a whole lot of layering. Okay, so then next, I'm gonna use the dark green. We're gonna go right in the corner. And that's gonna start giving it that real definition and that depth because poison ivy is sexy. So you definitely wanna have that sexy, dangerous, vibrant eye. Make it where it's not a harsh line. It's a big thing is you want to have as smooth a transition as possible. We want to go back through and put more. Blend it more and more. I am using my Smashbox, it's just that one right there. And then I just use this in the very corner, give it more of that depth. And then you just wanna go in that crease and around the edge. And then we wanna use this brush again. And just go through. Blend that puppy out. And we're going to take this and then just kind of drag it on that color to the rest of the eye. I'm just going to go back through and do it all again. I'm Use the start color from MAC. And then on the other side. The bright.
bright green in the middle and then the green right there. So this is how it's looking so far. We're gonna go back through and do more black in the corner. And we're gonna blend it out again. Surprise! Bet you guys didn't see that one coming. So, next I'm going to change my eyebrows to the color of my hair. This could depend on what wig you're wearing or if you have naturally red hair and you just want to make it a little bit more intense. Slow burn from my electric palette and I will be using this color from MAC. So I'm going to take the brush that I got from my Naked palette. Then I'm going to put a little bit of slow burn on the brush, brush down my eyebrow. I'm just gonna go in with this. And I'm going to do that straight line between your nose. Up, I'm just gonna. Then you wanna fill in your eyebrow. Take your eyebrow brush you're gonna brush that up, and this time go along the bottom of it. So I can find that bottom line and try and get it nice and crisp. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix. And you just want to go along the bottom. You want to take it along the top of the eyebrow as well. I just have some Burt's Bees lip balm and I'm going to put that on my lips because later I'm going to be doing a very matte drying lipstick and so you want to make sure that you moisturize your lips now so that later it'll sink in and then when you put that lipstick on it won't be as bad to um, chap your lips. And you want to give that about 5 to 10 minutes to sink in. So right now I'm going to put on my mascara. I'm just going to curl my lashes. So now I'm going to use my Unique Fiber Lash Mascara. Apply the gel. Apply the fibers. So first comes the gel. So then I'm gonna put on the fibers on this eye. Ooh, look at that. More of the gel. Okay, so then we're gonna do it again. And for my bottom lashes, I used Big Fatty by Urban Decay. I like to just wing it and go for it. This is Stella. So I'm going to take this from right into the corner of my eye all the way to the outside corner.
It takes a lot of practice. Don't be upset if they don't look the same. You can always start over. I like to just go for it. Now I'm gonna go from the corner of my eye up and then I'm gonna take that back and join it with the rest of the eyeliner that I did. So this is how this one looks. So now we're going to do this one. We're going to do the same thing. Go here and then bring this down and then connect it there. I'm going to go back in with my chromographic pencil by MAC. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips using my MAC lip liner. It is Pro Longwear. This is Ruby Woo by MAC Cosmetics. Apply this all over our lips. Usually I get some on my teeth. I have escaped unscathed today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I'm a little shooty, and I hope you guys have a great day and like this look as much as I do.